So without further ado, let's just move right in to the filtering demo. First, we're going to patch a triangle wave, because that's my favorite, uh, into the audio in of our low pass gate. And I'm going to turn the, the frequency setting on the filter all the way down. That means that the filter is entirely closed. And now when I patch into the audio out and bring my resonance all the way down, I'm going to patch now into my input on my mixer. And we don't hear anything because the cutoff is all the way at the bottom setting. As I start to bring this up, I should hear a little bit more and more of my sound. And there it starts becoming audible. But it does sound a little bit different. It sounds a little muffled, or what have you. So let's verify, let's kind of do an A-B comparison. I'm gonna unpatch that, and I'm gonna patch my triangle wave into the multiple take a multiple and plug that into my input two of my mixer. So that's my dry sine wave and I'm going to turn that down a little bit. And so right now I have dry signal going into input two over here and I don't have any signal going to my filter yet. So I'm going to patch into the multiple again and then into the audio in. So now I should have technically two. So if I bring my level down to my dry signal, that is only my filtered sine wave. And if I bring the filtered version down, I can hear what my dry sound wave, sine wave sounds like. Okay, so those are the two different waves. So I'm gonna bring down the dry, and we're just gonna work with the filtered version. So this is with the filter setting all the way at the top. Uh, let me try and increase the resonance, and let's see what kind of an effect we, we get with that. Okay, right there is where it starts to go into self-oscillation. So you can hear that for sure. It almost sounds like a little whistling. And if I bring it all the way to the top, I may need to bring my gain down a little bit in preparation for this. It will just keep getting louder and louder. Yeah, so right there it's at its maximum setting, the resonance, and then our filter's all the way down. So if I bring down the cutoff now, and again, that's the same, uh, same resonance setting, just a different cutoff setting on the filter. That maybe it would be a little bit too much resonance for a uh, practical sound, unless you're going for kind of a distorted sound. Uh, so I'm going to bring that down a little bit. And you can kind of just get it somewhere where that you like it. Bring it up a little bit. So there's our, there's our kind of filtered sound. Let's compare that to our original sine wave too. I'm going to bring the filtered sound down and bring the regular one up. That's our regular triangle wave, and this is our filtered one. Has a little bit more of a, a little peak right there, the cutoff of the frequency. So let's uh, let's play with that a little bit. Cut off all the way down now. And my output is a little bit high, so let me bring it down while I bring the cutoff back up. Okay. So that's the basic frequency setting on this filter. And I can just find a level where I'm comfortable with it. And also, of course, the resonance setting that I sort of sort of geared towards and then now I've just expanded the capabilities of my VCO so I could actually have both sounds if I want kind of do a little blend of the two have my regular triangle wave and then a little bit of the resonated sound to kind of give it a little meat if you will So it definitely has some good possibilities uh, let me 
me bring my signal down just a little bit. So I can see I'm getting a little bit of distortion. Uh, so now, since we've demonstrated cutoff, I think we did a pretty basic uh, demo of the resonance. So you get an idea of what the resonance is going to do for you. Um, let's just jump into modulation, because that's the fun stuff, right? Uh, we have our A145 over here from some of the previous demos. And uh, we're going to feed a signal, a low frequency signal, from the A145 into our low pass gate. And we're going to adjust the cutoff of the frequency. So let's start at the top. We'll do an inverted saw. And we'll patch that into the frequency or the CV1 of the frequency of the cutoff. So here we go. And you can hear a little bit going on there. I'm going to turn on my dry signal. And I'm going to bring up my filtered signal. And it's very, very muffled. Probably because my cutoff is a little bit too low, so I'm going to bring it up a little bit. Maybe my resonance setting needs to come up. I'm going to bring up my level a little. So we definitely have a different sound there, for sure. And if I bring up my regular triangle wave now, we have a nice little mixture of two waveforms going on. Okay, so let's try a different waveform. I'm going to unpatch the inverted saw, and I'm going to patch the saw wave into it. Let's see what that does. And let's play with the resonance a little bit. This is all the way in the full resonant position. And I can bring my cutoff down a little. Almost gives you sort of a percussive type of effect. And of course I can always adjust the frequency of my cutoff over here. Or the frequency of the modulating, I guess I should say. It's all the way at full frequency. Saw wave going to CV input 1 over here at the filter. I can bring it even down to the lower position. So it's now modulating the filter at a pretty low rate of frequency coming from the LFO. Okay, let's move on to a sine wave, and we'll leave it at the low position over here on the frequency of the LFO. Let's bring our resonance down a little bit. And then let's try our frequency on the LFO up just a little bit. That's a sine wave going to CV1 at the filter, adjusting the cutoff, and then I can, of course, adjust my cutoff to change the manner in which the sort of the timbre coming out of the filter sounds. 
And of course I can adjust the frequency of my LFO to change the amount of modulation going in. Or the frequency I should say, not the, not the amount. Okay. So there we have a sine wave. Now let's try a triangle wave. That's pretty similar, I think. I can bring it all the way down. And if we bring it all the way down to the bottom, let's see what that sounds like. And we'll wait for it to ramp back up. Should be coming any moment now. And as you can see, this light getting brighter, that will indicate to you that it's on its way up. cycle there. Uh, let's unpatch that and now we're going to try a square wave.